everybody, it's Megan. I'm really excited to show you our April craft today. It's our welcome spring wreath. You can hang it on your door or inside your house somewhere. Um, it's got some of my favorite things about spring. It's got a little bird and a uh, bird's nest and some moss and some branches. So I just love this wreath. And if you follow along, I will show you how to make her. Okay, so when you open your kit, you will see all the materials that you are going to use for this craft. We've got our wreath form. Um, we've got some branches, some greenery, some flowers. Um, we've got a little cup of glue, some floral wire here. Believe it or not, three different types of moss in this bag, which I'll explain. We've got some ribbon and a little bird. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our little bird's nest for a wreath. This is what a finished one looks like. We're going to make. So we take our two types of moss in the bag. The reindeer moss is the bright green one. We're going to leave that for a little bit later. But the Spanish moss is the lighter brown one. And then we can put some little pieces of the floral moss in there as well. And basically, we're just going to use our hands to kind of shape this into um, a, the shape of a nest. Um, and I took some of the glue that I gave you guys. Um, I poured it out into this bowl with some water. Um, you're going to want to use this glue later on the wreath portion. So I kept it as is, um, not watered down. But I just put a little bit of glue with some water in this bowl, this paper bowl I could throw away, and we're just going to use our hands to sort of put some glue on this nest and mold it with our hands into the shape of a nest. And it's kind of fun to do that. And put some on the bottom as well to get it to hold its shape. And then what you can do is if you have any sort of bowl in your house, um, this glue will wash Elmer's glue, so it's not going to ruin anything, I don't think, um, that you can wash. But find a little bowl, or even just the bottom of a bigger bowl works, and just you can put your nest into the bowl once it's got glue on it to mold it into the shape of your nest. So I'm using just a it's a half of a bath bomb mold that I had from something else, so that works. Um, but even just putting this in the bottom of a bigger bowl and squishing it down to get it into the shape of a nest. And then you can put this aside to dry. It's going to take a little while to dry, probably overnight. Okay, and our next step is the fun part. We're going to start just arranging our uh, wreath elements onto our wreath form. So I gave you some branches. I really like to add the branches in here. It's not necessary, but it just gives it a real natural. Um, and the way I'm doing the wreath is to center most things on, on the bottom part and um, have some flowers kind of climbing up it. But most of the most of the elements are going to be centered on the bottom. So we've got some greenery as well that we can put in here. And I like to have those sort of climbing up the side, and then um, that'll give us room for our nest and bird in the middle. But once you have those kind of arranged how you'd like, then I would start just using your floral wire that was provided to kind of um, put this up, put these elements um, down and attach them to the wreath. And that's really easy to do. You're just going to uh, wind your floral wire around everything to hold it down. And once your wreath is done, you're not really going to see this at all. There's so much on there that it won't stick out. Um, so just go ahead and re reinforce all your elements here. Once you have the bottom part reinforced here, I just used two pieces of floral wire at the bottom. You can kind of just like stick more greenery kind of going up the side here to make it look a little fuller. 
It's really easy with this wreath form just to kind of stick stuff in, which is nice. Um, and then we've got our pretty pink flowers that are going to be going up the side as well. So we can stick that kind of just into the wreath again, like that. And same thing on the other side. And we, we all might have slightly different flowers. It's hard to find enough of the same thing for everyone. So they're all really beautiful, but they might be slightly different colors. Most of them are in the purple and pink range though, since those uh, really make me feel like it's spring. So we're just gonna kind of go crazy here and stick some flowers in however you want going up the side of your wreath. Okay, and once you have your flowers and your greenery arranged how you want it on the wreath, it's time to decide where you want it once it's dry. I'm going to put mine right here on the bottom in the middle. Um, so I'm going to put some moss around where this bird's nest is going to go to kind of make it look a little more green and woodsy. So we're just gonna, and we're using this rain reindeer moss that's still in your bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put on some of this glue that we still have in our bag. Um, this is my finger. I'm just gonna put it on there and stick the moss to it. You might have to hold it down a little bit, but it should stick. I use this glue for mine. Um, if it's easier for you and you have um, a hot glue gun or any other type of glue, feel free to use that. It's totally what you want to use. Go ahead and put that on and let it dry. Okay, then once you have your moss um, down glued on your wreath the way you want it to be, then you can position your bird's nest. Kind of like it's sticking up a little bit, but not, you know, totally vertically just kind of in the middle centered there and I found if you are doing hot glue it might be easiest to hot glue it um I've included like I said the floral wire I found it's kind of um the best for me to just bend a couple of them into little hooks and kind of hook your bird's nest on to the middle so I'll let you do that um, however best you do Okay, once your bird's nest is posi positioned how you want it in the middle of your wreath, um, you can go ahead and glue your bird down into your little wreath there. Just I just use the regular glue and that's fine. I hold him down for a minute to make sure he's glued. Okay, so we are going to move on to doing our bow at the top. So we've got two pieces of ribbon. One is larger and one is smaller. The larger one you're going to just fold over itself like this. And then we can, what we can do is, it's a pretty big loop. And then in the middle, we're going to just kind of join everything together and scrunch it. So it's gonna scrunch in to be a bow like that. So make that shape and then set it off to the side. And then with our smaller one, we can also just make it um, just like a circle. And you don't need to reinforce that circle, but then you can just also join that in the middle. So we are going to make our bow kind of scrunched like that. And once your bow is how you want it, just hold it at the top. And again, the, um, another piece of floral wire you can wrap around the bow to keep it all together. It's going to look just like that at the top, really pretty. And once you have your bow at the top looking really pretty, we've got one more little piece of ribbon. Um, you can fold this in half. And then this is just to wrap around that part where it's got the tie to make it look a little more finished. So you can't really see the twist tie as much or the floral wire as much. You do have to reinforce this in the back, um, which the glue that's included probably won't work too well, but you can just go ahead and staple it or you can use a hot glue gun 
however you want to reinforce that will should work. And then I also give you a little piece of twine so um, you can tie a little bit around the back to hang your wreath and you can just attach that. I attach mine to my floral wire um, easily or you can also hot glue gun that if you have a hot glue gun. And this is our finished spring wreath. Uh, I really love it. I think it came out great and I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed making yours. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you.